right, we're looking good. Hello and welcome to the daily number workout for fifth grade. Today we are working on the number 41. So let's go ahead and do word form. So it's two words, of course, 40, F-O-R-T-Y, and one O-N-E. And when we look at it, and the ones place, and the ones place value is a one, so it is odd. Because all odd numbers in the ones place value would be one, three, five, seven, and nine. So let's get started finding the factors of 41. And hopefully you figured out that the only factors of 41 is one and 41. So one times 41 is one, that's the only one. So this is prime since it only has one and itself as its factors. All right, let's go on to multiples of 41. So we're gonna need some scrap paper here. If you didn't do the scrap paper, do it with me, please. So I'm gonna get rid of some of these cards so I can move my paper up for this work for you to see. So the first one, of course, is one times 41 is 41. Two times 41, so we're gonna have 41 times two equals. Two times one is two, two times four is eight. So two 41s is 82. We're gonna do three 41s, that is 41 times three. Three times one is three. Three times four is 12. So knowing our basic facts, this is great practice for our basic facts. One, 41 times four. So four times one is four. Four times four is 16. So we have 164 for four 41s. Let's do five 41s. Five times one is five. Five times four is 20. So we have 205, six times 41, six times one is six, six times four is 24. So we have 246 and we have times seven, seven times one is seven, seven times four is 28. So that would be 287, 41 times eight. Eight times one is eight. Eight times four is 32. So we have 328. Let's do four time, 41 times nine. One times nine is, whoops, is nine. Four, nine times four is 36. So we have 369. And of course, any number times 10 is that number with a zero in the ones place. So those are the first 10 multiples of four, if we were 41, if we were counting by 41, that's how we would do it. All right, let's move on to our next area of choice. And that would be fractions, decimals, percents, and ratios. So, all of these different concepts, these math concepts will be focused on in your fifth grade textbook. So this is just a nice little getting ready for your studies. So 41 hundredths is the same as, because 41 would not go into hundred evenly. So that is the lowest term fraction. And so this would be zero and 41 hundredths, which equals 41%, which equals 41 colon 100 or 41 to 100 if talking ratios. So let's write this out in words. So this would be 41 hundredths. And of course, we write 100 with a TH because that means it's less than a whole number. And then this is zero. And for the decimal, 41 hundredths. All right, we're looking good. Let's go on to dollars and cents. 
So our dollars and cents would of course be the decimal, but with the dollar sign. So if you have a word problem and they want dollars and cents, then you're going to need to either write it out like this, or your teacher might want you to write zero dollars and 41 cents. And there you have it. Our partial number grouping. All right, let's go on to area. So area and perimeter, I'm moving it up. So our area is long ways or standing up, just two different ways. We have 41 by one and a one by 41. We come over here and write area equals 41 times one because it's two dimensional and that is 41 square units. We're gonna write our perimeter of that. So that would be 41 plus one plus 41 plus one equals, and that would be 41 and 41 is 82, like up in our multiples, 83, 84. So we have 84 units on that going all the way around. So that was this one, let's do this one. Area of this one would be a one by 41. So we're always walking over then going up or on the side equals 41 square units. And the perimeter would be one plus 41 plus one plus 41. And of course, this is the same as up here, just a little different order. Doesn't matter what order you add or you multiply. And there we have it. Let's go on to our next group, which is volume. And I'm gonna cover this up a little bit so I can fit it all on. Hopefully you have that all checked out and you're done with that. So volume, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna draw our rectangle and then we're gonna do one back and one tall. So this would be 41 by one deep by one tall. So the volume of that would equal 41 times one times one. One, two, three dimensional is cubic. So that would be 41 cubic units. All right, now we're gonna stand it up. So this would be a one by one by 41. One by one by 41. Remember, we're always walking over to the ladder before we go up. So walking over to the ladder and then going up. So volume equals 41, whoops, I'm sorry. Eh, eh, eh. One times one times 41 equals 41 cubic units. Hopefully you got that all written down. You know what you're doing. Let's go to the last one is a one by 41 by one tall. And hopefully you're getting really good at drawing these. So this volume would be one times 41 times one. So basically we're proving that it doesn't matter what order we put numbers in when we're multiplying all of them, it's gonna come out to the same answer every time. So we can rearrange our cubes any way we want, but we're still only have 41. All right, that's it for our number workout today. Have a great day.